Okay, y'all, I don't know what happened to my other clip, but I had a clip showing you how I clipped off the edges of the green beans. With fresh green beans, they have a hard little point on each end, unlike canned green beans. So with the fresh ones, you go in and you can either pinch it off with your pointer finger and your thumb, pinch it off, snap them off if you would, or you can use kitchen shears to cut off the ends that you see here. Our green beans are fully prepped and clean at this point. So as part of the preparation, before I put them in the fridge, I'm going to go ahead and break down some of the vegetables. They go in the Chinese style. Definitely a lot of garlic. So we're going to get the garlic and then I'm going to do shallots. And we're going to use some uh, ginger. Ginger is the other vegetable but we're going to use the ginger we have in the refrigerator you peel it just like an onion but the good news is it doesn't make you cry honey maybe ever use every bit of that shallot because y'all these things are expensive i mean y'all saw how small it is and i've seen them in the store for like even three dollars which was ridiculous but they're easily going to charge you like $169, $189 for those. Y'all, this bull does not want to come loose. My God. And the one I was pulling on trying to get it loose, that still wasn't the one that came loose. <laughs> that thing is holding on for dear life. I'm going to break down some garlic, y'all. <laughs> See, this is a troublesome head of garlic. See that right now. Hard headed garlic, hard headed. So that's all I'm gonna do is put the garlic. It's gonna give those beans just that much more of a garlic aroma. I'm gonna put the garlic on the fresh green beans and wrap it up tightly with plastic wrap and let it sit in the refrigerator that way. We're also gonna do half of this shallot. I'm gonna save the other half for my dressing. If I feel like I need more shallots, then I will add them when we're cooking. We'll add them when we're cooking the green beans. These are seasonings, that's what, that's the thing to remember. Your veggies, especially garlic, onion, peppers, things like that. Remember, they work as a seasoning. So you don't wanna just cook with it. You wanna get it on there as soon as possible. I'm not gonna put any salt, cause the salt would 
make um, some of the water lemon from my green beans and the Chinese style green beans. You want them to stay firm and kind of crunchy. So I'm just gonna put the plastic wrap on it like this and put it away in the fridge. My green beans are prepped and ready for the pot. Let's continue with our green bean segment. We have some extra virgin olive oil that is heating up in the pan. It's actually quite hot. I have it on a little bit, I would say a medium high heat. And what we want to do is we want to blister the green beans first. Just the green beans, no liquid yet. These songs are giving me the blues. So remember, this is like Chinese cooking. If you do the Chinese cooking or you've ever watched them in the restaurant, they cook everything on high heat, stirring it constantly. So. I left most of my vegetables in my bowl. We're gonna get these blistered up and then after they've been blistered and heated through, that's when I'm gonna go in with a little pink Himalayan salt. Now I'll let you know what we're gonna do from there. Now we just stir frying them. Okay, y'all, we still haven't added anything. I'm basically just stir frying them in olive oil at this point. We haven't added salt. We haven't added anything. Because you want to do this, you want to stir fry the beans until they start to be a little pliable. you see that they're not, they're not as stiff. Some of them, um, even the little beans that's on the inside, the little part that's on the inside of the bean will come out, but you can see them kind of start to bend a little bit. That's what you want to do, because this is this is where you're cooking the green beans. When you get ready to finish them off, you're making the sauce and stirring in the rest of your vegetables just as a finish, just as a finish on the green beans. Stirring in that sauce, heating it up, just as a finish, but this is where we're cooking them. See how this one looks? Okay, so matter of fact, now that we're at that point, I'm going to go ahead and add some pink Himalayan salt. So then after you're starting to bend and flip. You want every bean to get heated through. So it's best to use a, you know, if you have a wider flat pan, that's even better. I have one under there, but I don't feel like digging it out. And for that reason, I'm having to do a lot more stir frying just to make sure that everything gets heated through. You see, you'll, when I say it blister, you'll see those beans start to blister like that. And when you add the salt, the salt is going to make the water render from the bean. So that's why I don't add salt right away. Now that they have been heated through, they're kind of sweating and blistered. I'm going to add in the rest of my vegetables. Remember, this is um, fresh garlic. and shallots. Oh, and one more thing, y'all. I almost forgot. Remember I told you it required ginger. Let me get the ginger out the fridge. 
Now, please know if you don't want to make your beans Chinese style, you can still use fresh green beans and make them country style. You just wouldn't add the ginger. You can still use chicken broth in your pan. If you want to use pre-cooked meat, you can even still add iced potatoes. You just need to cut them up really small pieces um, so that they can become tender by the time the beans get done. But fresh green beans are a treat either way. You would just follow the same steps all the way up until um, I incorporate the ginger. You wouldn't add ginger and you wouldn't add soy. Okay, here's the ginger paste. It comes in a tube just as the garlic does. So we're going to just squeeze some in there for Chinese green beans. You want to make sure you got some ginger. So if you're not looking for peeling of fresh ginger and trying to mince it down, because you want it to be in a paste form like this, and make sure it cooks through. Yeah, those beans are wilting on down. At this point, I can turn my fire down some and put the top on it until we have made the sauce. Alright y'all, this is exactly where we want them. These beans are done. That ginger just gives them such a nice taste, a citrusy flavor. Let me show y'all. These beans are really good. I can eat them. At this point, what you want to do, because I've noticed... Um, depending on what store you get your beans from, and we need to hurry because I have to make the sauce. Sometimes they're tougher. Mm. But see there? And it still has a little bite to it. Hopefully y'all can hear it. It has a little bite, but it is delicious. Just a little pink Himalayan salt and that um, ginger with those fresh vegetables. You can't beat it with a bat. But, my girls want the sauce. See, they're done, y'all. My girls want the sauce, so let's make up just a little sauce to put on here for them, okay? But this I'm so sorry, y'all. I thought the video was going. Okay, so what I have in here thus far, I just put in some soy sauce, and I have reduced sodium. And all you're going to do is use some cornstarch to thicken it. So in Oriental cooking, they normally use cornstarch as a thickener. The same way we use flour. So you just want to make sure that you're stirring as you're whisking it in. Okay, you don't need a bunch. Now if you wanted to use something like teriyaki sauce or whatever else you could you could add a little honey to this if you wanted to a little brown sugar just depending on how you like it i like mine to be on the savory side so i won't add anything sweet i'm just adding just enough I told y'all with me so i'm gonna have to pick it up and just enough cornstarch to thicken it And we're going to pour this right over our green beans. And it's going to create a sauce. I can turn my fire back up now because all I want to do is reduce this sauce. See, it's exactly how they are with the Chinese buffet. That's why you don't need that much salt when you are sauteing them or when you're done sauteing them. See how they're speaking up? Make sure y'all can see them. That's it, honey. Mmm. 
super delicious. I'm gonna turn the fire off. You spread them out evenly. Like that. And then we add some fresh green beans on top like this if you so wish. We happen to like green beans. I'm sorry, we happen to like um, green onion. And then you go in with some sesame seed if you so wish. And that's it, y'all. Chinese style green beans. <laughs>